Welcome back to a Numbers on the Board YouTube exclusive. We've done the Atlantic Division, the Central Division. Now we're heading out west for the Pacific Division, our favorite, favorite moments from every single team. Mike, start us off with a team and your favorite moment. Well, I can I, predict this start. You're going to yeah. say I, it's got to be the Lakers, uh -huh. and it's got to be Kobe's last game. I can't picture a, a different, like any better way to end it than a 60-point performance. Not only that, but like your team was down, and you actually brought them back to win. I thought it was one of the best games I've ever seen, and to get it from Kobe Bryant on his last game was amazing. Even they gave him a microphone after, let him let him speak, man. That was that was a big moment. Um, shout out to Gordon Hayward and them, because they they was they was bad, uh, bad enough for seventy year old yeah. Kobe to go out there and get that work done. They had a playoff contention on the line too. Oh, did they really? Yeah. I just remember also that same day the Warriors were about to break the seventy-two and ten record. Yep. They, um, and they did. They did. Yeah. yeah. And which game, one of them games was on ESPN and the other was on Steph, ESPN two. I think Steph was on ESPN two, but I want to say I looked at the numbers because somebody was talking about it recently. Steph still had better numbers, I think. Like the game. I think the actual viewership? the Warriors game had better numbers than the Lakers game. Well, even the fact that they would flex Kobe's last game over a generational regular season team just lets you know Kobe's impact. Um, I wasn't missing basketball. that game for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. There was no reason to. Yeah. My favorite Lego moment, um, saying, I don't, I, is anybody doing one that doesn't involve Kobe? I can. Uh, against the Phoenix Suns years ago in the playoffs, um, they somehow lost the series, but they game winning shot um, from the elbow in overtime to win that game when Kobe then takes his jersey and says, ah. I remember being a kid, watching them, rooting for them against that Suns team. And, and I loved the Suns at the time, but I just loved Kobe so much. He was hooping, man. Him, Smush, Kwame Brown, Lamar Odom. He was really, really making it work. And to see them lose that series, Tim Thomas had a big three in one of those games after that. It was so such a heartbreaking thing. But that was one of my favorite versions of Kobe. One of the last eight seasons we had of Kobe. Then he went to 24. Uh, it's, it's that that moment when he sent the game to overtime against the Raptors. Oh, uh, over DeMar like, and Rudy. Yeah, and he was just dog. He was just carrying. He was just dogging the, the Raptors in that last few minutes of that game when they was down. They were supposed to lose that game. Mm -hmm. I think it was like a minute or so left, and it was down nine, and Kobe just shot at the he shot. Just shot. He just shot at the shot, and he just wouldn't miss. <laughs> yeah. um, because y'all all get Kobe moments, I'll try to get one that wasn't Kobe related. And it's relatively recently in the bubble, Mike. Anthony Davis game winner. Come oh, on, man. Yeah. It was a special moment. It was that a special, was a big special shot, moment. Man. As special moment as it get outside, of course, Kobe. Um, and then that was against the Nuggets, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Jokic ain't let them win a game since then, basically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jokic we got one. Get... Remember, we got one last year. Oh, yeah. You... Hey, shout out we to them for one getting that one, swept. man. Shout out to them. All right, let's go to the the Crosstown rival now, the Clippers. What's your favorite Clippers moment? Uh, those two games at Kawhi when they went down 2-0 um, to the Dallas Mavericks. Um, after losing home court advantage, Kawhi then went into Dallas and was pretty much unstoppable. And he, there was nothing he could do. He went out and pretty much took those two games back and made this an even series. And that, it's so fun watching Kawhi do this during the playoffs time. And I think we've only gotten glimpses of it with the Clippers just because of injuries. But when he's on, man, it's, just, it's a show to watch. I got a couple. Number one is the Blake Griffin over Timothy Mozgov. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Nuts to the face. That was just epic, epic, epic. The other one is slightly a moment, but um, when they came back and beat the Golden State Warriors in the playoffs, um, I went to sleep thinking that that Same. game was over. Yeah. And but to wake up and I woke up in the middle of the night um, and saw that they like it was still on like my ESPN was still on my TV. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, man, it's comeback win. I'm like, huh? Yeah. What? I got the mm -hmm. same story. I was in New York and I fell asleep watching the game and I woke up like, what the hell happened? Um, now that, 30 in the fourth quarter to come back. Yeah. Very impressive. That's baby, that's baby Shea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby Shea, Lou Will. Lou Will. Montrez, Tobias. Danilo. Danilo, yeah. I feel like I don't really have many, like, Clippers moments, but one that kind of stands <laughs> out for me fan. is the year that Montrez Harrell won the sixth man. Because, honestly, they could have been co-winners co with Lou Will, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, they were both damn near averaging a dub off the bench for the Clippers, and I thought that was a special team they Weren't had. Weren't they on the, both on the cover of Slam together with the long do-rags and the big yep. shorts and all of that? Shout out to them. They I, was they was showing homage to who? Um, Corey Maggetti and D. Miles? And Elden Brand. Okay, shout mm. out to him. Um, I can't believe y'all had no Chris Paul moments. I left that for you. Uh, yeah, that's your that's your. That's your how many moments we want? We want just one? Uh, he got the game one? winner versus the San Antonio Spurs. That's his one, right? My yeah. one. Um, 
on on a bad hammy. He's walking down court, grabbing it, dribbling up the court, and he get the right over the fingertips of Tim Duncan. That's when I knew he was. That's when I knew. That's when I seen the State Farm stuff coming. Incredible actor. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, no, because he didn't play the next series. Like I remember his post game interview. He was damn near in tears because he knew that whatever injury he was dealing with was too bad. And then yeah, the Clippers eventually not win that next series. But like. That was that was the Chris he Paul. He potentially out. stopped Tim. One of my other, one more. Yeah. yeah. One of my other favorite moments is, is take that Tim. It's involved Chris when Steph Curry had him playing Twister. That oh, was an yeah. epic. <laughs> I don't remember Twitter that night. one. That was I remember Twitter that night. one. They was putting them on so many memes. Um, but yeah, you know, don't play drop coverage against one of the greatest no, point guards of all do time. Don't do that. Don't do that. He's a dog. Uh, Shout out to CP3. Next one. Let's stay with the Warriors. Favorite yeah. Warriors moment. Uh, uh-huh. this one's gonna be a, this is slightly bittersweet, right? I think Damian Lillard came out and said something about like. It's not as easy when you ain't got Klay Thompson or something next to you or something like that. It was something along those lines that he had to play Steph Curry the next night, and then Steph Curry went out for, like, over 50 points Mm -hmm. against them, and it was just like, damn. He woke up that monster. He did. I want to go between (laughs) either, like, the 50-whatever Steph had in the garden or probably the 37 and a quarter from Klay. Yeah, that fifty four in the guard, nasty man. Yeah, that thirty seven in the quarter, it came out of. I remember watching that game, and then it just like was just, it just you thought it would end, mm-hmm. but he just kept. That going. is crazy. Thirty seven <laughs> in a quarter. Yeah. When you say that out loud, it sounds like a joke. Some don't people don't sense. touch that as a season. High. Yeah. Some people don't get to thirty in the season. He did that in a quarter. Is that something that y'all think will ever get broken? Like in. <sighs> I think so. Thirty-seven and a quarter. I mean, I would have to take the odds, but no, at the it's same time, it's gonna be like time. a Luca. It would have like to that. be. <laughs> That's who came to mind, Luca yeah. Doncic. Because like you gotta think about the three. He was he was oh, someone fire. who takes a high volume of threes are the only ones that can really get that. Donovan yeah. Mitchell, and Donovan uh-huh. Mitchell, Luca. I wouldn't see Brunson doing it. Brunson's such a mid. The mid range guys ain't doing it. Nah. Thirty set. Like I keep thinking in my head, That's a That's crazy, crazy amount for one twelve minute period. Anthony Edwards could do it. If you just get high. That, I, I'm going to go on the limb and say that's Clayson. How? Because <laughs> he's not a prolific three-point shooter. You just talked about needing a but three. But no, and I think Anthony to. Edwards, he, he could get hot from three and you know, get in his bag a little bit. And he could, he also is a guy that can get to the free throw line, stop the clock. Yeah. Like, I think Anthony Edwards got it. Okay. Uh, my my fit. Oh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you. Um, 50 versus the Sacramento Kings closeout game. The most points mm. we've seen in the closeout game. I remember just watching that like, golly, this man is incredible. And not that I – I mean, I normally think that when I watch Steph, but this one, back against the wall, game seven, going out there, you know, the, the like the beam is going on, and he like, no, 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 no. This is my season. I'm going to take over, and he dropped 50. Or it could just be that at the last championship run because I didn't think they had another championship True. run, and then, and then they did it and got one more. Shout out to Wiggins. We believe Warriors. Yeah. Baron Davis dunk over Andre Karolinko. Let's go Phoenix Suns next. Hey, I'll get I got one. Um, Chris Paul, that that first season with the Phoenix Suns, they went from a team that was invited to the bubble. They did well in the bubble, but he helped them jump to what? Were they the one seed that first year with Chris Paul? Or was they the two seed? It was one of the two. Well, Chris Paul remember. came in and changed everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they when, were a laughing stock. Whatever style. they were, they went to the finals. Yes. Uh, so shout out to Chris Paul. And uh, uh, I guess Devin Booker, too. I guess Devin Booker, too. Uh, the Giannis 50 point game against them, man. That's for the Bucks, ain't damn. It? I'm joking. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't even really think of one for them. Uh, uh, this is like a little weird one. In I'm, it, I'm going with the Devin, Devin Booker, Booker 70. Yeah, I was going to say, Devin Booker has a 70-point oh, yeah, game does. in his career. I'm going for the three-guard lineup. They didn't do nothing, but it was fun to see IT, Goran Dragic, yeah. IT, and Eric Bledsoe try to run the show and try to make it work. They I won 47 games and did not make the playoffs. So sad. That's, That's crazy, crazy how good the West was back then. Yeah, and it's, well, actually, it still is. Yeah, yeah but now we got playing. Shout out to yeah. Jeff Hornacek, man. Yeah. Because yeah. that team might have snuck in there. You said you don't have a single memory for them. What about, um, I, I, you know, when what's him coming and to DeAndre my mind? Aiden and Mikel Bridges dancing with the fan. It ain't got to be some. Uh, no, I was, what's coming to mind is Gerald Green's dunk where he jumped up and his head was down there by the rim. I thought that was with the Nets. I thought it was Nets. Oh, he was with the Nets? Oh. Yeah. I thought he was on the Suns. No, nah, the Nets. You just don't rock, rock with the You got the seven seconds or less. Steve Nash with the bloody nose. Mm. And watch them win 60 games and he's going to be a Suns fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Last team is the Sacramento Kings. You got one for them? Yes. Um, just the Boogie era. I just loved watching Boogie during this time. I just felt like... <laughs> It's fun to watch a big man be so you damn skilled, boogie. 
but also he's so damn dominant in the paint. Like Boogie had this weird way of being able to do a little bit of everything, but like he also could put his back to the basket and then just power dunk you like he should kill O'Neal, but he also could hit a step back three. And like it was just so fun to watch. Mine, I can't, I'm trying to remember what team it was against, but I remember De'Aaron Fox hit that half court heave to win the game. Or was it the go to overtime? It was during his clutch player of the year season where he just felt unstoppable in the fourth quarter. Was that against the Magic? Um, maybe. I can, I can look it up real game? quick. Oh, you said a heave. He had a, he walked up and shot like a limitless three over the Magic and made it. Yes, that's, that's literally the one I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. It was like right before, it wasn't half court, but it was right he on stepped, the logo. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, um, yeah. So shout out, shout out to De'Aaron, man. That season was ridiculous. I would say probably a Kevin Martin 50-point game. All them free throws. Mm-hmm. Shot like 20-something free throws. I think that was against the Magic, too. Yeah, this is a crazy, yeah. crazy My moment. favorite moment is when I think it was Isaiah Thomas. He was trying to, like, just dab somebody Paul up after hand. the game. I think it was Chris Paul or whatever. Yep. And Boogie was like, nope. Nope. Yep. Can't do that. <laughs> Come on now. They the ops. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Pacific that's, division, that's man. A lot of memories. Let us know in the comment section your favorite memory for every single Pacific team. And we'll see y'all soon. Peace.